Hello, are you a gym owner, a personal trainer, a fitness instructor, or a membership consultant who really wants to make sure that your customers, the people that come in and ask questions, actually want to get results? Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Kickass Kylie. I have over 20 years in the fitness industry. Now, I started as a customer. I was a member and you know what really frustrated me? Number one, I felt like I was just a number. And number two, I always felt like people just wanted to sell me a membership. So from there, I actually became a group fitness instructor, a personal trainer, a club manager. I bought my own gym. We franchised and grew to 13 clubs. Talk about taking matters into your own hands, right? And my mission was to create a happy and healthy world because I truly cared. It wasn't just about money. It was how could I help real people just like me to actually get results. So let me ask you, do you really care about your clients getting results or do you just want to sell a membership because there's a really big distinction and my biggest pet hate in the fitness industry is when people come in and ask for prices which we call the silly question because they just don't know what else to ask really what they're asking for is I need help with a pain or problem can you help me but they don't know what they don't know. They don't know what to ask. So that's their way of asking for help. So if your team then just hand over a price list, one, you're setting them up to fail. They will become a statistic like 95% of the people who purchase a membership and never come in. Or maybe they purchase a membership, come in once, twice, and within three weeks they've quit. You're never going to see them again. Now, if that's the financial model of how you want to run your business, then you probably just want to stop this video right now. But let me tell you this, the more people that you can help to achieve results, the more money you will make. Let me repeat that again. The more people that you help get results with the health and fitness, the more money you will make. It's directly proportional. So if you want to help more people, and make more money, then check this out. In the sale, sales in the fitness industry in a lot of places is really badly done. And do you know what? It's really not rocket science. You just need a sales system. So there's a four step sales process. The first step of course is to build trust. Basically, you want to make sure that you're building rapport because people will buy from people who they know, like, and trust. And let's face it, most people don't love to exercise. So you're wanting them to fork over their hard-earned cash when they're probably already struggling financially to do something that they don't even want to do. So it's really important that you train your team in how to build rapport and be an absolute pleasure and make that person feel like the most special cared for person in the world. Now the second step is the needs analysis. It's asking questions and then zip it and listen. Now again, most people who are in sales, they do too much of this and not enough of this. They're not asking the right questions. Now, if you want another resource to check out, there is a book called Questions Are the Answers by Alan Pease. It is absolutely incredible and absolutely anyone in the fitness industry, whether you're working on reception and membership sales, personal training, a manager or a gym owner, you absolutely need to read that book. So you need to then go through a needs analysis because everybody wants to achieve something different. And unless you don't ask, you don't know. Now here's the other thing. Most of the people that are coming in to inquire about membership, they don't know what they need either. They're not qualified fitness professionals. They don't know what they don't know. So it's your job to make sure that you ask the right questions so that you can then help them get the result that they want. Now, they might come in and say, I want to lose weight, but you need to drill down. Why do they want to lose weight? Why is that important to them? What impact is that going to have? You've got to drill down because it might be something completely different that, you know what, they actually just want to be a good role model for their kids 
or they want to have more energy you know they want to look good for their wedding next year or you know they're going to a school reunion and they want to look fantastic so you've got to drill down and understand what is the real need it's a little bit like peeling back the layers of the onion and if you do that questioning process properly yes you will make them cry <laughs> so make sure that you have tissues um, so that you can help and support them but when people cry you absolutely know that you have nailed it and now you're in a space you can really help that person now if you're feeling a little bit freaked out by now you know what maybe you're not cut out to be in the fitness industry because it takes having those crucial conversations to really make the biggest difference to that member so once you've asked a crap load of questions and you are absolutely crystal clear on what it is that your client wants and needs the next part is the sales solution I like to call it an education based sales solution so basically you're gonna recap using their words of what they want to achieve and you're gonna map out future pace and show them exactly how you can help them achieve their goal so watch the rest of this video it's going to take you through the sales process that we used to use in our gym franchise called fitness matters now i don't have that franchise system anymore these days i'm the happy holiday girl i am living the dream i'm the laptop lifestyle queen and now i get paid to have holidays but what it's done is it's given me the freedom that i can now give back and create training resources like this that are going to help you help your clients to get more more results and guess what they're gonna help you make a shit ton more money as well Woo! so watch the rest of this video please like comment share if it's adding value and use this as a training tool for your team and if you would like some more information on me coming and training your team then see the link underneath this video and I'll be more than happy to chat with you so let me just do a bit of a recap, Lisa, to make sure I've got this straight, okay? So you reckon that you can come down um, four days a week. Which days are you looking at? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, yep. um, Thursday and Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. All right. And time of day? Um, Monday in the afternoon. Yep. What sort of time? Uh, like 4 o'clock? Okay. Tuesday uh, morning, around 9-ish. Nine, 9, nine okay. around about then. Thursday early, 6 o'clock. 6 a.m. And Friday lunchtime. Okay, so lunchtime. So like noon or 1? Yeah. Which one? Uh, Some people have lunch, I have lunch at 11 if I'm hungry. No, <laughs> 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, okay. Well, I actually have two lunches if I can get away with it. Now, <laughs> so of those ones there, which one do you want to have your biggest workout? Um, probably the Tuesday. The Tuesday? Right That's All right. a preferable time. Alright, so we'll probably make that the one with your trainer, just so we can do that one as you know, the biggest one. All right, and goal wise, um, I know that you said that you want to lose weight, and that was in your hips, your butt, and your thighs, because you thought it was a little bit flabby. And you wanted to do this by um, April next year because you're going on that holiday to Vegas. Was there anything you wanted to add to that? Um, I'd like to get fitter as well. Yeah, cool. I'll put fitter up there as two, and we'll do we'll do all of those things as part of, of that. So I think part of the whole losing weight thing is you're going to end up fitter anyway. So I think we're pretty cool. How we're going to go about this, you know, uh, I always want people to understand the sorts of things that we're going to do with you whilst you're here. Um, so, there's probably five things that I look at which will need to be part of the process. If we address these five really, really well, you're much, much more likely to get the result that you're actually coming in for. So, the first one is making sure that we're doing some sort of cardiovascular thing. So they get your heart rate up so you burn a little few calories. Now, a lot of people have a go at doing cardio at the moment, but they just do it really, really badly. And what ends up happening is, you know, for the best intention, they end up all hot and sweaty, but they're actually getting the result. 
So I had one lady come in, she was really grumpy with me. She said, look, I've, I've been walking every day and I'm just getting fatter. What's going on there? And I said, it's because you're really good at walking now. You know, you're just not getting any improvement benefits of it. So what needs to happen is, first one is we've got to make sure that it's progressive. So every time you come in, you're just a little bit more than the previous time. And with some of the machines we've got, we've got a great way of actually quantifying that and measuring it and doing it quite precisely. In addition, we've got classes as well. And you know, things like our power class, you have a chance to put the weights up. So you can actually see, you know, with, with, with um, a visual reminder, you're actually doing more than the previous time. Next thing is make sure you're doing variety. Now, my brain won't let me do half an hour on a treadmill. I think I've just got a little bit bored. But I can do 10 minutes on like four pieces, and that kind of works for me. And I can change the order, so I'm not doing the same thing every time. And the consistency is going to be there. And so many people, you know, they'll, they'll have this blitz, whether it's just a guilt blitz, where they'll come in and they'll do like four sessions in a week, and I don't see them after that for another two weeks when you're kind of better off doing like two sessions every single week so the body gets used to that pattern. So that's just the cardio thing. We, and your trainer will help you out with, you know, how to use the machines, which classes to do, and we'll do a full plan just on that so you've got that side covered. Cool? Next thing is the strength stuff. So the making sure that we get the muscles actually switched on so they're actually living, working organs instead of just fatty, toxic stores. And all we're going to do is a, a, a simple strength program to just activate the muscles. And it's not to make them big and bulky, it's just to get the muscles working for you. Um, and I know you've not been to a gym or too much, so your trainer's actually going to take you through that so you actually how to use everything as well. Um, that's the strength stuff, it's pretty easy. And finally, I have this thing I call balance. And this is not standing on one leg. Um, it's actually about muscle balance, because we have a lot of people come to us that for whatever reason, they don't stretch, their muscles are tight, and they end up with all these sort of postural things, you know, backs rounded out, or you know, lower back pain. So we're gonna make sure that you're stretching as well. Um, so that way the muscles themselves um, aren't pulling on the joints, um, and also work on your core strength to make sure your lower back is supported too. Now, these three elements over here are the physical stuff. And that's about 20% of what we have to focus on. We should was more. It's only 20%, because 30% of the problem, or challenge, or little solution, has to be looking at the fuel that goes into the body. And more people come to us who are eating badly, they come to, to us who are eating well. Most people just don't eat enough. So a lot of people want the same sort of goals as you just don't eat enough. So the body's actually running on empty most of the time. So they try and do this stuff and they can't, because they've got no fuel inside them. So we've, we've, we've got a great a way of looking at what you're doing and actually planning your whole week for you. So your trainer will go through that with you. So at least we can make sure you have the right food going in with the right quantity, the right type that works with your body um, and um, the right sort of frequency as well. And making sure you're drinking enough water during the day. And again, you know, if, you're, if you're not drinking enough water, your body won't let you do this stuff because you become running dehydrated anyway. So if we get these things right, then you can do that thing. However, there's this 50% thing that's left over, and this is the thing that stops us getting the results that we actually want to get. And I call it the idiot. It's that little voice in our head that gets us off track. It's the one that says things like, don't join the gym on a Thursday. Who joins on a Thursday? Why do you join on a Monday? They say, for the weekend, you go a bit wild on the weekend, and Monday, that's it. This time, it's gonna be it. That's what the idiot says. Or the idiot says things like, oh look, Tin Tams are on special. I think I'll pack a pack today. I like Tin Tams. Or, yeah, you can stay up late. You'll be a bit tired tomorrow, but you'll be fine. And we all have the idiot inside us, one to the extent or another. And the idiot's the thing that actually gets us off track and stops us doing the things that we should be doing. And the idiot for most people is the things that are responsible for you being in your current shape. That's kind of the way it is. Um, so do you hear that little voice from time to time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we all do. We all have our own ear. And it's one of the reasons why working with a trainer is so successful, because the trainer can't hear your idiot. <laughs> so the guy doesn't listen to, you, to, the, to the, the, the things that the idiot tells you. Now, the why this is so important, because if, if there's 168 hours in the week, I see most people for about four of them, which means they've got 164 hours in the week to screw up. And if you can't manage that, then we can't do the rest of this. So, do you reckon you're ready to take control of this? Yep. Awesome. All right. So, do you see how all of these things are going to help making sure this actually happens? Great. Well, let me do a bit of a plan for you. Oh, I'll stood up again. <laughs> this is a plan for Lisa 2012 and beyond. And now, I, I, when you get started, 
there's going to be definite stages that we're going to work you through. And I know you might have seen this before. Let me just show you what happens over here. The first stage I call the initial stage. And this is the first 20, 30 days. And what happens here is you're getting used to the club. And more importantly, you're getting your home routine in order. Now, if you want to come down here four times a week, that's probably four or five hours of something you have to give up to make the time to come down here. And so what, you know, sometimes it's just, you know, getting snacks ready in your bag, doing laundry different days, getting your gym bag ready. It's all of that sort of stuff. It's just adjustment to routine. It takes about a month to sort out. But we know straight away, when you start exercising more regularly, you do start to sleep better. Energy increases and it's thought the toxins do start to leave the body. Now the next stage is the visual stage. And this is the cool stage. Two to seven months when you first get started. And this is where you start to actually see the changes and so will others. And as the body starts to change, it's an exciting time. Now, do you have a section in your wardrobe, because I know I do, where I've got like this much of clothes I can't wear anymore, and I'm left with this section here, and I can actually, that actually still fits me. Have you got the same sort of thing? Yeah, I think most people do. So, this is where you can start to peel back some of the, the, the no-go section, as you can get in those clothes again. So, that's the visual stage. Now, on our little journey, so we're chugging along nicely, trains help along the way, we get to this point over here, and this is what I call the danger zone, because with the best intention, what happens here is, this little voice comes out and says, hey, Lisa, you're looking pretty good at the moment, why don't you back off this gym thing for a bit? And instead of progressing through and getting the results you want, what ends up happening is you backslide all the way back. Now the bad news is, only 20% of people actually get through this. But of the 20% that get through that, 90% of these guys have a personal trainer. Because what ends up happening is most people end up giving in to the idiot instead of working through. And what, you, what people come in for is actually to get to the next stage. And this is what we call the results stage. And in a lot of people, you look at 7 15 months when you first get started, and you've achieved most of the results you come in for. But this is where we will now branch off and find secondary goals to train you for. So now that you are a little bit smaller and a little bit fitter, we want to get you ready to do more things outside the gym. And I, said, you know, I remember you said that you used to surf when you were younger. So how about we train the body so you improve your core strength, get the leg strength, get the balance right, so we can actually help you make your surfing more enjoyable. Would you like to do that sort of stuff? Yeah. Yeah, and that's what we do over here. So, and your trainer tweaks your program, changes your program, so it now adjusts for the fact you're actually a fitter person. So you don't do the same thing the whole way through, but you actually have something, a different focus in mind. Now, ultimately, we do want to get you through to what I call maintenance stage, where now you've actually done all of the hard work, you can actually back it off and simply enjoy that new you. Now, this first stage is easy. Everyone goes through that. What I want to find out is which one you want to get to. See, if you want to get just to the, to the visual stage, like have a crack at it, see how you go for a month, and then you're not really sure what's going to happen next, I don't know if I can actually help you. Because the last thing I want to do is sell you a gym membership. I actually want to help you get the result. Does that make sense? So um, I don't want to help you get here. I just want to find out, out of these two, which one do you want to head towards? Is it the results of that maintenance phase? Anyone. The maintenance phase, yeah, most people say that. All right. <clears throat> so given that, let me show you how easy that is. So we have a couple of options that we can look at. All right, so Lisa, I've got a couple of options I want to show you. Now, we're both of you looking at just 99 to get you started. It's a bit like a joint thing. Now, one of the options we've got is our Platinum 3 option. And we have a number of people that have taken this out because you know the, the, their, their fitness goal is, is that important that they know that left to their own devices, they're probably going to get themselves off track. So they want to make sure every time that they come down, um, at least um, for a good percentage of them, they're actually going to have a trainer to help them along the way. So it's actually a managed session every single time. Now with this one, you're looking at just 125 um, a week, and that's over a small 12 months as a term. Now alternatively, we have a few people who have said to us, that's not enough. The goals are that important to me. Now is the time I've got to do something about that. And these guys have simply gone for a platinum four. So instead of getting just three sessions a week, they have four sessions a week with the trainer. Now, some of the sessions could be strength sessions, some of them will be cardio sessions. 
Um, and one of the guys is even having one of the sessions as a massage session as well. So they end up with three physical ones and a massage session. So you can kind of mix and match with those. And with this, you're looking at just 155 a week. So out of the two, what are you leaning more towards? Would it be the platinum? Um, to you know, at least get you started and, and make sure every session's um, working for you, or the Platinum 4 to make sure you really kick some goals. Am I going to be a real farmer? I can't afford that much money. Okay, so um, how far out is it at the moment? Well, I wouldn't spend more than... I'm doing something a week, but I, I couldn't... I have, I'm on a budget and I can't spend more than 50 bucks a week. Okay. so. We have an option there that's about a cup of coffee out, <laughs> so, um, which I just want to show you because we do have some people that say, um, but it's a bit tight, and so what they've gone is simply said, look, if I can squeeze in with a Platinum 1, that would be fantastic. If Platinum 1 comes in at just 55 per week. Is that more in line with your budget? Yeah. Okay, great. So what we'll do is a little bit of paperwork, it won't take long, we'll make a time to see your trainer. Get your fingerprint done, and you know we do the first two weeks in advance, and um, that ninety nine. How do you want to fix it up? Would it be on savings or, or credit? Credit. Great. Well, look, I'll grab it off you now. Oh, welcome to the club. Let's get you going. So there you have it. Now you know how you can help more people and make more money in the fitness industry. Now, if that added value to you, please like, share, and subscribe on this YouTube channel. And if you would like to receive a copy of the needs analysis, the right questions to ask, then click the link below and I will send it to you absolutely free. I hope this video has added great value today. My name is Kick-Ass Kylie Cordy and wishing you a fun, fit and fabulous day.